welcome to my channel i hope you guys enjoy this is my june recap i mean we already in july but i still got time to post so enjoy class is empty it's the end of the year fourth grade is officially on to fifth so yeah we did the thing this year was a very interesting year i took over this fourth grade class in the middle of the school year and um we brought the year to an end on a wonderful note i'll do a whole nother video for that and of course, you can't have June without having some rainy days, just like here in South Florida. Trying to go check up on my grandma, and baby, the rain did not let up. Y'all know in the hood, it easily floods, so that's what we had to deal with for most of June. Moving on to something much more interesting. So I'm pretty lucky when I enter contest and there's a black professionals group here in, well, one of the chapters are here in South Florida and I won VIP tickets. So of course I used that time to take my husband out for Father's Day and we went to our first MMA fight. So it was like the championship. So it was double down. Shout out to Demesman and Dover. That is a accident attorneys that's a law firm here in south florida but they were one of the sponsors for the event y'all i did not know what to expect you see ufc fights on tv but this vip experience got us so up close and personal i was like i hope no sweat or no blood don't get knocked on me because i'll never come back to another one but for the most part it was nice it was such an elite experience and uh, that's me trying to carry my drink and i ran over because i saw the founder for the black professionals network and we've met each other so many times so this is a grappling that took place i did not know what that was until i attended this event and the boys be touchy touchy it's crazy they get up close and ugh, with each other and i'm like isn't this wrestling but whatever they called it grappling so this is everybody chit chatting after a couple of hours. And, and let me tell y'all another thing. Do not go to any UFC bare knuckle fights or MMA fights on time. When I tell you they like black people, I was so trying to rush to get there, to get there on time. And I should have been late because the real fight didn't start till like after nine and it doors open at six. So lesson learned. But it was a super fun experience. Everybody was starting to get their seats and stuff. So we weren't on the side of the the uh, ring. We were like right behind those who were on the side of the ring. But we did have the option to move up if we wanted to. And I was like, nah, I'm good. I also didn't know how much I was into watching experiences like this. Very, very intense. I mean, this fight here was, I believe it was an individual from coconut creek and then someone from moscow so i thought that was like a weird matchup but i guess that's okay in the world of mma fighters and they really be like getting lip bust eye bust face split with a kick like it gets real watch this So needless to say that the individual from Moscow definitely won and he was feeling himself because they was trying to boo him in the beginning. So this is another fight. I think this one was uh, middleweight. The first one was lightweight. This one was middleweight. And um, it got real tough. I thought they was going to do some damage. You know, we always try to root for everybody black. But baby, this one was, they was getting tired because it was a lot of uh, 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 back and forth. And I'm like, they can do that. They can do that. But MMA fighters do very interesting things. So if you want to be entertained and you like to see this type of intensity, I would definitely say grab tickets to, to anyone near you. I 
All right, so this month was also filled with some anxiety moments that had your girl stressed out. Um, this was us on the way like five o'clock in the morning. My son had to have another procedure. Um, this one was a little different, but we had to get there by six o'clock. And um, this is one of our unique kids and he has a few disabilities and developmental delays. So we're kind of just very, very, very protective of him and spaces that he goes in. We want to make sure that we're advocating for him and that he is safe. So for um, this experience, he had to have a tonsillectomy and an anoid something. But um, he had to go under anesthesia for the procedure. And um, he was pretty good. This The first procedure he did in April, he wasn't so good. But um, we love the surgical center. Our daughter came here last year in I September, and she did amazing. That's this is mean. after they gave yeah, him, like, this high. liquid stuff to make him woozy before they took him to the back to give him the actual um, sedation. Like, they was rushing us and stuff at the hospital. Like, they way more gentle here. Johnny, he's slow. <laughs> A Johnny Woods. Johnny. Johnny. You okay? What you watching? What you watching? A Johnny. A Johnny. So this is us on the way home. The procedure was a success as we knew it would be. We do trust his ENT. He has done um, a perfect job. He's very skilled and he's very transparent with parents. Um, Ajani was very hysterical coming out, but that's because the he was coming back too. So there's this uh, dose of medicine they give them to wake them up. So he was a little hysterical, but um, he did go to sleep and when we got in the car, which I loved, and the recovery is like four to five weeks. I'm doing a video. Are you ready? So Ava and her mentoring group were a part of a fashion show. So this would be Ava's first time walking. So of course, as the mama, I like to help. Um, this is the host of the fashion show. So I don't want to give his name away. So if you know his name or you know who he is, I will give you two clues. One, he's a model and he has walked in Fashion Week. Two, he's an actor and he's played on Wu-Tang and he's in an upcoming season of Power. So comment below if you know who he is. I got something for y'all if y'all know. But um, he was such a great host, very positive, very professional. You can tell that he is a perfectionist when he comes to his craft and clearly he's fashionable. Look at him. He did an amazing job doing the whole show. He was giving the models and everything tips because some of the models were just starting out. But um, Ava was part of her mentoring group and they were a part of the fashion show. We'll get to them. All right, here's my baby walking her first time. Look at me, can't keep the phone still. But yeah, she did an amazing job. Let's give it up for the founder of this company. Ava had a wonderful time. This is us getting ready to leave. Had a great show. She got to experience the pandemonium backstage. But y'all see my shoes? Don't talk about my shoes. So y'all know I'm practicing getting outside, being on the scene. And as an entrepreneur, mompreneur, and community advocate, I try to make sure I'm on top of things that are taking place in my area. And here on this incredible street that I grew up on, it is like the Black Wall Street here in South Florida in my county, which is Broward. Um, Victor George Vodka is a new vodka and there's a Fort Mose whiskey that's been out and around popping, I feel like since last summer. But this is the CEO and founder of that spirit brand. And he is building the first black owned distillery, a rooftop lounge, a sports bar a cigar bar and an event space with a restaurant right here in our backyard so i was excited to be at the groundbreaking he was supported by our cdcra and um this is it and afterwards we headed down the street to a black owned wing spot and we celebrated there with him and that's the end of my gym